cent hike in county tax rate and the Cancer Care Treasure Shop opens for business as well as Richmond Senior High School Golden Leaf Award winners are revealed. That plus your sports and weather are all coming your way on your Wednesday edition of Live at 5. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Good evening and welcome to Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College. I'm Sierra McQueen. You can register for fall classes now at Richmond Community College. To learn more, visit richmondcc.edu or call 910-410-1700. Now let's get right to it. Now for tonight's top stories. The Richmond County Board of Commissioners held their regular monthly meeting on Tuesday at the Judicial Center in Rockingham. The June agenda was a busy one with 20 items to cover. The most significant item of the evening was the final approval of the county's 2018 and 2019 budget. County Manager Brian Lamb began by stating that he directed all departments and outside agencies requesting funding to submit proposals 7% below their 2017-2018 funding levels. Lamb noted a significant unfunded addition of eight former municipal employees who have now become county employees through the consolidation of emergency 911 services, putting further strain on the county's funds. Salaries and employee benefits make up a large portion of the annual budget and Land pointed out that no salary increases were included in the 2018-2019 budget. Land noted that the new plan calls for two additional days off per employee that can be alternately cashed out in value of $100 each for those who prefer cash to time off. Land did point out that the budget does include a small amount of funding for a merit increase program. Following the budget review, Chairman Kenneth Robinette called for a vote and in a rare split decision, the budget passed on a 4-2 to vote with Commissioners Long and Moss casting votes against the budget. Both commissioners commented and each commended Land and his staff on the hard work put into the budget, but expressed concerns that more could and should have been done to reduce spending. In other business, the board approved the purchase of the Rohannon Middle School property from the Board of Education for the sum of $100. For more on this meeting, visit richmondobserver.com. The people of Richmond County and surrounding areas now have a new place to shop as well as provide financial support towards a cure for cancer, which probably has impacted someone in your life or even your own. On Monday, June the 4th, the Richmond County Cancer Care Treasure Shop was officially welcomed as a new business by the Richmond County Chamber of Commerce with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Rodney Gandy is the owner of the shop, which is conveniently located at 704A East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. It will be operated as a non-for-profit with all the proceeds going towards Relay for Life in Richmond County. The American Cancer Society uses the funds for cancer research services for those diagnosed with cancer, as well as educating the public about early detection. A wall full of the colorful purple shirts at the front of the store serve as a mindful display and are also available for purchase. It states that the Cancer Care's mission is to support the local community, especially those affected with cancer. The official ribbon cutting ceremony followed in front of the treasure shop with Robin Gandy cutting the ribbon accompanied by his mother, Diane McNeil, County Commissioner Thad Ushery, Rockingham Mayor Steve Morris, and other well-wishers. Students from Richmond Senior High School and Richmond Early College High School were named as recipients of the 2018 Golden Leaf Scholarship. Coleman, Barry, Alexis Biddle, Latasha Baker, Kyler Sweat, and Chris Terry were each chosen out of 215 applicants to represent the Golden Leaf Scholarship program. Barry and Biddle are both seniors at REACH and will graduate in just a few days with their high school diploma as well as a college degree. Barry is headed to North Carolina State to study agriculture, while Biddle will pursue her degree in biology at UNC Charlotte and hopes to become a doctor. Seniors Baker, Sweat, and Terry will also put their scholarships to good use. Baker intends to further her studies of art at East Carolina University. Sweat will intend Appalachian State University for science, and Terry will attend North Carolina A&T for computer engineering. Each student is eligible for $12,000 
and they may also participate in leadership programs offered by Golden Leaf as well. Congratulations to these students. We wish them luck in their journey ahead. When we come back, Teddy Mosley returns to the Richmond Basketball as Lady Raiders head coach, and Richmond Basketball is to host Raider Classic Jamboree on the 15th and 16th of June. It's all coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. My name is Jim Leach, and we have been using the Tim Hayden Construction Company for the last several years. My name is Dave Owens and my wife Beth. We had some damage here at our place in Norwood Village. January 2nd, our house flooded upstairs coming through to the uh, first floor. Uh, Tim has responded uh, very quickly with his team of people. Our repairs went extremely well. Tim made a very difficult situation uh, much easier for us. It's been a busy couple of weeks for the Richmond Senior High School Athletics Department and Richmond County native Teddy Mosley is the newest installment to the revolving door of coaching changes around campus. Mosley was officially introduced last Friday as the new Lady Raiders head varsity basketball coach. His hiring comes as a replacement of now former head coach Rosalind McDonald who will lead who led the program for the last three seasons. A civics and economics teacher at Richmond, Mosley is wrapping up his second year at Richmond Senior High School. However, he has an extensive history of teaching within Richmond County and perhaps more appropriately, a lengthy playing and coaching career that has made him the best fit for the job. During his senior year of high school in 1996, Mosley was a starting point guard who helped lead the Raiders to their first of back-to-back -back state championship title games. Also on that team was current Raiders head varsity basketball coach Donald Bootsy Pettigrew, who was a year younger. Not only will Mosley's new role be his first title varsity level position, excuse me, but it will also be the first time Mosley will captain a girls squad. Pettigrew just wrapped up his first full varsity season this past year and the two former teammates are looking to get Richmond's programs on the up and up with Mosley confident with the group of Lady Raiders he's acquiring. Losing only three seniors from this past season, Mosley inherits a core group of young players and hopes to identify and utilize each player's strengths. In terms of what he expects his team to do on the court, Mosley is excited to get the team practicing as soon as possible. Noting that high school sports are becoming a year-round commitment like college athletics, Mosley held a team meeting Tuesday and hopes to get his team ready for the Power Aid State Games in Greensboro June 22nd through the 24th. He believes that this will be a good measuring stick of where the program is. 
Minutes after his team lost to Scotland High School in the opening round of the Sandhills Athletic Conference Tournament on February 13th, first-year head coach Donald Pettigrew said that he was already looking forward to building up and improving the Raiders varsity basketball program for the next season. And the next step in continuing to develop his players and the program comes in the form of Raiders Classic Summer Basketball Tournament, set to be held on Friday, June the 15th and Saturday, June 16th at Richmond Senior High School. Pettigrew and the Raiders will welcome in eight regional high school teams. The Raiders will sport two teams and the only other SAC school slated to play is Scotland. Some of the other schools making the trip to Rockingham in two weeks are teams Pettigrew and his team face during the 2017-2018 season, which include Fairmont High School, New Life Christian Academy, and Southern Lee High School. The Raiders Classic Jamboree will use two courts with games being played simultaneously and be operated under a two 20-minute half format with a running clock. Teams will follow a general uh, rule of basketball with all field goals being worth either two or three points. However, if a player is fouled and the shot is missed, he will get one foul shot that's worth the total number of points of his original shot. Richmond, Scotland, New Life, Pine Forest, and Union Pines will participate in both days of the Jamboree. Fairmont and Red Springs will play in the Friday games, while Southern Lee and Grays Creek will participate on Saturday. Games will begin both days at 9 a.m., and start times will run every hour until 3 p.m. and on Friday and on Friday and 2 p.m. on Saturday. All teams playing on Friday will each play three games, except the second Richmond team, which will only play two games. All eight teams will play Saturday will play three games, and Pettigrew and company are encouraging the community to come out and support the Raiders. When we come back, Russell Parker will be bringing you your Live at Five weather report, and it's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Exit Realty Platinum in Rockingham has listed one of the most beautiful homes in Richmond County. Located in Rockingham on Ledbetter Lake, the home features four bedrooms with bamboo floors and a kitchen featuring stainless steel appliances and granite countertops and a master bedroom that overlooks Ledbetter Lake along with a spacious tile shower and the attached master bathroom. The open living space leads to the back deck with a perfect view of Ledbetter Lake and the property features its own boat dock. Want to see this beautiful home? Call Nicole Hayden with Exit Realty Platinum. Your source for homes in Richmond and Moore counties. Family Pharmacy is a local pharmacy that's been in business in Rockingham for over 10 years. Located in the Food Lion Shopping Center on US 1 North, we have easy access into the store and a drive through for your convenience as well. You can download the official Family Pharmacy app at MyFamilyPharmacy.com and we'll help you set it up to text you when your prescription is ready and you can even set it up to fill your prescriptions when due. Our motto is we'll treat you like family and it's something we truly mean. We take the same care in filling your prescription that we would take for our own family. Family Pharmacy, we'll treat you like family. Hello, I'm Tammy Benson, and this is Nancy Bowling. And we're here to tell you about the wonderful service at hospice and what they have to bring from the nursing services to the medical director to in home aides to a chaplain to bereavement to everything you can imagine. They were there to take care of it. I cannot think of how. The experience with hospice could have been in any better professionally, spiritually. Welcome back to Live at 5, and now for your Live at 5 weather report, which is brought to you by Family Pharmacy. Jumping into the highs tomorrow, it's going to be pretty hot, considering if you're down towards uh, South Carolina, Columbia, 90, Darlington, 91. But as you move more eastward over to uh, New Bern, Wilmington, the beach area is sticking around the lower 80s. Uh, Rockingham is going to hit close to that 90. 
what, a 86, Wallenberg 87. So Santa Ana region is going to be a little bit warm, relatively speaking. Charlotte kind of about the same as well. So, you know, keep in mind that it will be a little hot considering it's around the 80s, uh, but nothing like South Carolina. Moving on over to the average rain chance for the weekend. Now, weekend, but for both days across the Carolinas, is expected around 40 to 50% chance of rain. And that uh, can increase as we get closer to the weekend. Uh, Friday looking pretty good though. So this is not including Friday. This is Saturday and Sunday only as far as weekend is concerned. So um, not too bad at all considering you know, New Bern's 50%, Clinton 50%, uh, even all the way as far uh, west as Hickory 50%, Spartanburg 40%. So uh, you got a lot to consider here on the weekend if you plan on making a trip to the beach. This might not be the weekend to do it if you want a fantastic uh, day in the sun. Uh, you know, if you want to hang out back down here in Rockingham, or if you're somewhere in Raleigh and you want to enjoy something like the North Carolina Zoo, or excuse me, not North Carolina Zoo, but the North Carolina History Museum or the Art Museum, uh, they got stuff up there too that you can enjoy. But uh, Rockingham definitely got some awesome museums too. You should check them out, like the Helmet Depot and the Richmond County Museum. Go check them out. Do something fun on the weekend indoors. You can do that. Moving on over to the five day forecast now, Thursday, the high of 86 and the low of 69. Uh, partly cloudy as we head into Friday. It's going to get into the 90s, as we've been saying the past couple of days. Low of 71, but as we get into the weekend and as the rain chance continues, the temperature is going to increase a little bit 92, 93 on Saturday and Sunday. 72 and 71 is the low. And uh, as you move over onto Monday, the rain still going to trickle over into the work week. Um, you know, Monday has got an increased chance of 50%, so we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. Moving on over to the pollen outlook, which is very high. Now, Friday might be able to change because uh, it does look like there's still, that, there's still a slim chance of rain, but if that changes, we'll let you know, of course, tomorrow. But right now, it's looking like Friday's going to have a very high pollen outlook, so be mindful of that. But uh, that is your live weather report, and now head back to the desk with Sierra. Thanks, Russell, and that's going to do it for today's edition of Live at 5. And if you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for iPhone and Android devices and be sure to tune in tomorrow morning to the greatest morning show in the Sand Hills. I'm talking about Good Morning Sand Hills, which you can listen to Monday through Friday starting at 6 a.m. on the ClassicRockRadio.com and on the RO app. And guess what? It's free. Thanks for tuning in to Live at 5. Good night, Richmond County.